One of the things you're gonna have to learn to do is write a speech. And you're gonna have to know how to do different types of speeches. You're gonna have to do big speeches, short speeches, long speeches, narrow speeches, funny speeches, serious speeches. You're gonna have to do toasts at weddings and receptions and luncheons and dinners. You're gonna have to know how to give impromptu announcements and you're gonna have to know how to comport yourself in a polite society in every dimension and dynamic. And these are wonderful, wonderful things to look forward to growing up and matriculating through this thing we call life. But being confident, being able to speak publicly and being able to deliver a speech is gonna take you through this stuff. Trust me, I've been doing it since I was 12. Here's how you do it. Real quick, in your mind, what you wanna make sure you do, and I don't necessarily do it in these talks with you, but I kinda do. If you follow my talks, if you look through them, I kinda do the same thing. Here's the model, simply this. Introduction, body, conclusion. Introduction, body, conclusion. And that's what you do with anything that you write. It's just that simple, it's three, the three parts. Now, the introduction is this. You tell them what you're going to talk about. The body is this, talk about it. The conclusion is this. Tell them what you just said. Tell them what you're gonna say, say it. Tell them what you just said. That's the model, that's the bulk. Now you can flesh that out, you can make it more detailed. Here's how. In the introduction, do the same thing. In your introduction, have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. And then in your body, have an introduction, body, and a conclusion. Then in your conclusion, have an introduction, body, and conclusion. Okay, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. If you're create, if you're saying a speech and you're saying um, how to build a house, <clears throat> first thing you want to do is think in your head because you don't even have to write this down. You just have to think about it. What am I going to talk about? Well, I'm going to talk about how to build a house. So the first thing you do, your introduction is going to be how to build a, how to build a house. And then my body is going to be, I'm going to tell them how to build a house. First, you have to build the foundation. Second, you want to make sure that you build the pillars. And third, then you can build all the accoutrement and all the roof and the fancy frills. And then you can load the house up. And then third, the conclusion, you want to say, so this is how you build a house. Okay. But in your introduction, you can say, I'm going to tell you how to build a house. Now, you can have an intro, body, and conclusion in your introduction. You can start with, in your introduction, I'm going to talk about something that most of you will never really practically need to know. But it might be interesting to know, especially since we use the analogy of a house when making points in speeches, in lessons, in classrooms, in corporate boardrooms, in Sunday school, in Sabbath school, uh, all over the world, people talk about the building of a house. So it may be helpful to know how to build a house. So, and that's your body in your introduction, your conclusion in your introduction would be, I'm then going to talk to you about something that so many people would benefit from knowing, which is how to build a house. There's your intro. Now your body, if I were to give you an example of how to flesh that out, we'd be here until tomorrow. So I'm just gonna give you a nutshell version. Here it is. When building a house, you wanna make sure that you first collect all of the material and tools that you will need for a house. Here they are. Then you will need to follow certain other steps. You want to contact your city county state you want to make sure that you have land you want to make sure that you don't have any wives you want to do the research you want to level the, the 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 earth and you want to get professionals you want to contractors and on and on and on you can get into all the details however many details you want to get into and then when you get to your conclusion you don't simply say so that's how you build a house instead you say so as you can see building a house is a very intricate detailed 
serious matter that involves a lot of people and a lot of resources, but it's a very valuable thing to know. And I hope that this was helpful for you, this lesson on how to build a house. So what we just did here is I just gave you an example of how you simply write a speech. That's how you construct a speech. You can do it quickly or you can take your time and write it out or type it out or however you, you record your speech. But that's how you do it. You simply think intro, body, conclusion. And you think intro, body, conclusion for the intro, intro, body, conclusion for the body, intro, body, conclusion for the conclusion. Simple as that. Liggity split. Five minutes.